All right, everybody, welcome to another Oklahoma Beer Review. This is Sam, I'm Jane, and we are reviewing today Sam Adams Harvest Saison. 6% alcohol, it's uh, 25 IBUs, which really doesn't even register on the scale. Right here it gives it an 82 overall, 72 in the style, which is weird because that means they thought it was a pretty decent beer that didn't follow the style all that well, I guess. Uh, and yeah, as far as saisons go, it really is a little bit of out and far afield, but it's good. Uh, Beer Advocate uh, gives it a rating of 80, so very similar. The bros have not rated it. So let's see what... Uh, I guess they're slacking. It looks like in the glass. They get a lot of beer to drink. Oh, yeah. Again, with the Ultimate Redneck Bottle Opener, this thing preserves caps like you wouldn't believe. Oh, it's, yeah, we, we have it. Nice that is. That's totally good. ready to go in the fridge. Look, the, the thing he missed out on our first video was it's actually sunscreen. It's a, I, I don't know who races under a uh, number nine. He's evidently very bad at signing his signature legibly. But uh, a friend of ours picked it up at the convenience store and <laughs> we fell in love with the thing because it actually preserves our bottle caps for magnets. I swear it's lighter than it used to be. I think it's still got the seal on it. The sunscreen's never been used, but I swear I it's, think it's dry up. evaporating or yeah. drying or We've something. We've had the thing for, what, four or five years? Not quite that long, but probably three. Well, at least as long as you've been in this house, almost. Uh, let's see. This thing is supposed to be a crop of barley, oats, rye, and wheat. So they pretty much threw the uh, kitchen sink in this thing. <laughs> Um, it says Golden Amber Belgian Style Brew. Uh, being a Saison, it should be sessionable. Um, and so let's see what we think. Uh, no head at all. And I tried to pour it a little bit aggressively, see if I can get something out of it. It is kind of a bigger glass, though, so it tends to be wide, not giving me that great a head on it. Um, oh, how I did you do in the old PBR glass? Right here. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I, I hate to comment on every little thing. But this is the funniest glass I think I've ever seen as far as just beer glasses go. Because it's shaped like an aluminum can, but it's a glass. And it's good old PBR. You know, redneck, white socks, and blue ribbon beer. Which we got for $3 at McNally's with beer in it. Yeah. Uh, McNally's downtown, Oklahoma City. Great place to go. We go there pretty much every Monday. Yep. And, uh... I don't know. I find it ironic to drink high quality craft beers out of a PBR glass. <laughs> but hey, every Monday you get a free glass with your beer and have a different beer every week. So that's a great way to try some beers. Uh, speaking of trying some beers, let's see what this thing smells like. It smells like grain in a cup for sure. It's got all yeah. of that. It's like fresh baked bread. There's oatmeal for sure, but kind of like that. Yeah, bread, oatmeal, like, you know, whenever you get that, like, uh, Oat bread from the store or from Subway or whatever, and then you've got Subway. the yes. Eosh. You've got that. Uh, definitely, there's a rye presence. It is hard to ignore rye when it's in a glass. Oh, oh yeah. I think wheat must get overshadowed by everything else in that glass because those other flavors tend to be stronger or smells are stronger. Mm -hmm. Wheat always kind of falls by the wayside in a sense, unless it's the most prominent thing in the glass. It is oddly spicy, but in a good way. There's there's some kind of like almost nutmeg thing going on. There's a yeah, it's 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 all carnival smells for sure. It's the along with the oats and rye and stuff. That stuff's there. Barley. It's not as bready as you'd imagine, considering its smell. Right, it, yeah, you're you're totally right. It smells more like bread than it tastes. Yeah, it's actually rather balanced. Uh, definitely some rye in it. There is basically no bitterness to this beer other than your standard. It's beer, so it's right. somewhat bitter. Yet at the same time, it's not terribly sweet. I like the I like that middle ground as far as between wet and dry. But you know me, I'm more a dry kind of guy. But it's got a good mouthfeel. I would say it's very, like, medium mouthfeel. Like, everything about it is medium, if you will. Like, yeah. It's, 
It's medium body. It's medium dry. It's medium malt. It's medium bitter. It's it's kind of it's a saison. It's a saison. <laughs> it's sessionable. You can hang out with your friends, drink a six pack of these. Yeah, you have several friends, maybe a twelve pack. Right. Um. Well, hell, our friends. You need a twelve pack for three of us. Uh, or me. Yeah. Whatever. You know. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> It is very good. I like it. Uh, I'm I'm kind of right there with great beer and beer advocate. Um, I don't know if I could go eight. That might be a little high for me. I think seven. Yeah, a solid, solid seven. Solid seven. I'm not gonna give it like seven five or anything like that. Um, because it's it's not something I would go out of my way to go buy. I got this as part of a twelve pack of Sam Adams beers. That was, you know, a multi-pack with the Oktoberfest and some other things in it. It's just all the Harvest Time collection. Right. It's got the pumpkin ale, which we'll be trying on the show, and some other things. And as a part of that pack, I liked it fine. Yeah. I would definitely not not buy that pack again because this beer is in it. You know what I mean? And by the way, what is it with Sam Adams? I mean, I'm, I'm not dogging on him, but... Every one of their little group packages you can buy, like the 12 pack that's three up of each one, they always put Boston Lager in. It's like, okay, if I wanted to try Boston Lager, I try Boston Lager. You don't have to put it in every last pack you got. I guess because it's their flagship beer, and they yeah. figure if you've not been introduced to Sam Adams, that's the one they want you to have. Yeah. However, it, it's 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 not my favorite Sam Adams. That's what's funny. I mean, it's okay. I like it better now that I'm an IPA guy than I ever did back in the day when I was drinking Boulevard wheat beers all the time. <laughs> well, it's hoppy, and, and yeah. we'll definitely get to it because, like we talked about having it in the multi packs. Yeah, we it, got some on hand. It's in there, so uh, that's a thing we're gonna give a shot. But uh, mm. as far as this, I think it's fine. It's a harvest sessionable. If I was at a party and they had this, I'd be much happier than usual. Yeah. Um. Heck, I might bring this to a party. Yeah. You know, people um, aren't gonna dog you for bringing something like this. No, no, no. I mean, you you walk in with some, you know, ninety something IBU beer, and you're the only one drinking it. Which I I've, I've done that as strategic advantage in the past. But, oh yeah. Uh, if you uh, walked in with this, there'd be people who would actually want to drink it, and it wouldn't be too much for a, a simpler palate. Which is good. If you're in yep. that sort of thing. If you like to share. But yeah, Saison, sessionable, medium everything. Um I can't say anything bad about it, you know. Uh it, it it does this funny thing to my jaw every time I swallow it. Because it does have that spice to it. It's not like spicy hot, but it has got a lot of uh they've added some other things to it that definitely there's Cloves, I think. Is that what that is? In the back of okay, that I, I could not identify, but that makes sense because it does just have this little soupçon. It's not quite pumpkin pie mix, but there's definitely some cloves and some nutmeg. Well, that makes sense for a, a fall time. You think of cloves because ham and stuff like that. Everything in the fall time's got cloves, so yeah. it's actually quite nice, but it does kind of catch the back of your jaw in just the right way. You're like, what is that? Anyway, so final thoughts on the uh, Harvest Saison by Sam Adams is that it is a solid seven. Solid seven. All right, thanks, guys, for watching, and uh, like, rate, and subscribe. Ah, cheers. <laughs>